Ni hao ma, welcome to another exciting night of Wolfman's Friday Night Fights. Hi everyone, I'm your commentator Dan the Wolfman, doing this with permission from Art of War, bringing you Art of War 16 fight between Hugh Rigi and Q Sung Kim. We've got Hugh Rigi out of Inger, Inner Mongolia, China. 5'9", 125 pound featherweight with a 2-2 two and two record. Taking on Q Sung Kim, very tall, 6 foot tall, 125 pounder South Korean with a 4-1 and one record. There we see the Chinese Hugh Rigi with the 2-2 two and two record right there. 5'9", very tall himself. Versus the ridiculously tall, six foot tall, Q Sung Kim. So we got a Hugh versus a Q. China versus South Korea. Guys, hope you're enjoying these Friday night fights. I usually bring you two fights every Friday night. This is the third week I'm doing it with Art of War and Desert Force. This will be the first one probably airing tonight. Make sure you hit those subscription and reminder bells so you always get the action. Mondays will be Martial Arts Mondays, Wednesdays Tactical CCW stuff, and Fridays Friday Night Fights. I believe Hugh Riggi, the Chinese Mongolian, is in the red shorts, which would be appropriate. And I believe Q Sung Kim, the Korean... Uh, we'll see here. Getting for ready for the action. Look at the beautiful production Art of War has. It's really a big event. Nice lighting. Getting ready to go here. Art of War has great rules, guys. Knees to the head on the ground. I believe it. when soccer kicks to the head on the ground are allowed, making it real NHB action. And a 10-minute first round. Pride style. Inside kick. And a one two down the pipe. Tries an overhand right. Hello, 大家好,我是熊猫TV的主播小易 Slinging some punches now Outside leg kick lands a bit We got a Hugh vs a Q guys, I'm gonna get confused We got red shorts vs the uh, black and red shorts Some fast hands from these tall skinny dudes Goes in on the double, decent sprawl, now in the front headlock position, over under, tie clinch here, better watch out for the knees, right hand down the pipe lands, Trying that overhand, but he's uh, telegraphing it too much. Jab to the stomach. Ooh, that overhand lands there. Nice, good, rubber leg, Ernesto Hu style low kick there. That was a really hard low kick. Buried that shin in there. I can't imagine someone so tall at such a light weight class. That's cray cray. Might have had the, the shorts wrong <laughs> earlier, guys, trying to figure out who's who. One, two misses. Looks for the two left knee. Oh, look like someone's uh, break dancing, electric boogaloo style. Man, that is a beautiful rubber leg low kick there. Turning the hip, burying the shin. Nice sprawl, right knee to the body. Honestly, that low kick is so nice. Not something we see out of either China or South Korea very often. That makes me think he has spent some time 
in the Dutch Denmark or area. Oh, two lands there on the chin, eats it. Another beautiful outside leg kick. Uh, looking a little nervous there, though. That that right that landed on his chin. Uh, he's he's showing some tells. Maybe he, he didn't like eating that too much. He is very upright. Skip up, kick, misses. Now we see the shorter fighter having problem with range. The height and reach difference is something I'm sure he's not used to being five nine at the at that weight class. You know he's pretty. Oh, and that right hand counter to the low kick lands, stuns him. The shorter fighter here needs to punch his way in. Don't plan on the first two punches landing. The third and fourth are what matter. So something like a one one two seven eight one one two three two. Uh, he's got to punch his way in. Yeah, his he, the, the the taller fighters not hiding things very well. I he uh, he didn't like the punching power that he felt. He got buckled, and now he's looking nervous instead of establishing de jabs in his range with the. The three low kick, three ten in some systems. Lands that low kick again. He's got to watch that right hand counter, though. Nice double leg takedown through the ropes. Guys, I've been watching my analytics yesterday, and like 90% of you are not subscribed. Do me a favor. Hit that subscription. Hit that notification bell. I'm doing my best to entertain everybody through these weird times we're living in. Look at my playlist. I bring something for everybody, guys. <laughs> Got a little bit better bounce in the step now from the shorter fighter. Catches that low kick, takes him down. Lands a kick of his own on the way up. Nice inside low kick. That had some steam on it. Yeah, it's not often, guys, that anyone impresses me with their kicking, especially their low kicks. And, uh, you know, it is very good stuff. Someone's watched some Peter Arts or Nesta Hoos, Boss Rootin DVDs or something. Piercing ball front kick. Good right anchor punch there. Muhammad Ali style. The knee to the chin lands. Got some ground and pound going now. Oh, the sucker kick barely misses. Oh, I love the Art of War action. I love the old NHB Valet Tudo rules. Good left knee to the liver. Some skip up knees to the ribs now. Going to the head. He's got to break these tight. The shorter guy, you got to walk your hips in and get a good posture. You cannot let your posture be broken. Oh, he's going to get finished here, I think. He's pouring it on now. Oh, knee to the chin. You can't just bend over, guys. That's the last thing you want to do. He's going to get stopped here. He's going to get finished. Beautiful knees. This will be a second knee finish. Spinning back fist almost hits the referee. Some ground and pound here in the open guard. Good elbow. Some hammer fist of death. Five finger death punch. And that's it, folks. That is it. You see the South Korean fighter Q Sung Kim win this one using his height, his plum clinch knees. Proves his record to 5-1. and one. believe originally at this time fighting out of South Korea and eventually moving on to fighting out of Singapore. Beautiful Singapore I visited. Been to the Chinese, uh, one of the big China airports. Haven't really stepped foot on the soil outside of that. You can see me sparring and grappling at, at, at three different 
top teams, Korean top team, Korean zombie, mad gym in Korea, doing seminars and sparring the pro fighters. Ooh, almost landed that elbow. Really, really skilled in the uh, kickboxing realm. A little too tall for my liking, but he uses his height uh, in a very good way, guys. Please hit that subscription, guys. Why are 90% of people not subscribing, helping this old guy out? Again, my current goals right now. Martial art video on Monday, so you have something to work with all through the week. Wednesday's bringing you some of that tactical stuff, CCW stuff, keeping you safe. Holster reviews coming up in the next few weeks, guys. And Friday, trying to bring you not one, but two fights on Friday night fights. This will likely be the first one, Art of War. Make sure you hit that notification so you watch the Desert Force fight later and any other organizations that want to give me permission to work on my commentary skills. Guys, if you have Fight Pass, uh, I believe you can still find Pancrase 270 to 276 on there that I professionally commentated. I've been told now that two of my fights are on Fight Pass back in the day. My fight against Yuki Kondo is now up. I didn't know that. So, guys, uh, Art of War. Boy, I love the rule set. And the action has been, been great in every fight I've commentated in English thus far, bringing it to the English speaking world. Look at the uh, tall ring card girls there. Very proud Korean fighter there. And guys, thanks for tuning in. I will catch you soon.